Welcome. We're here with a co for a conversation with Joseph Mustari of Honeywell Process Solutions. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Mark. So, Honeywell's been doing quite a bit in process control. What trends, what key trends do you expect to see in the, uh, the coming 2018 year? We see at Honeywell uh, five shaping forces, I see. Uh, and those forces are around the people and the efficiency of the plant. So the first uh, shaping force is around uh, the aging workforce and retiring. And as they retire, 50% of the industry workforce in oil and gas will retire within the next five years. That means all the knowledge, all the memory, all the expertise that has been accumulated this past 40 years will retire as well. So the first challenge is how we're gonna keep that knowledge within the plant. The second one is the millennials coming into play with a different lifestyle. They like everything in the moment. They like uh, streaming, seeing what they want to see when they want to see it, communicate real time. And we need to bring that environment in the, in the workplace, making the data available, making the learning on demand. That's the second need for the market. The third uh, mega trend that we see shaping this industry is around localization of the workforce at a specific country, developing, the, developing a program that is country specific. And last, uh, around digitalization of the workforce and operational efficiency. The need to do more with less and leveraging digital transformation as an enabler to allow that. Great. So how has Honeywell responded to the, the growing IIoT uh, trend and, and how are customers using it? A very good question, thank you. So Honeywell has been in the business of collecting data for the past 50 years. When we invented the first control system, we've been collecting data since then. And data has been collected and visualized and, and given back to the customer as a, as a panel in a control system. Now our customers with IIoT, they're expecting more. Uh, from data, they're expecting insight. We are collecting more data than we, the last year than we have collected cumulatively all the last years since, since inception of the control system. Now, how do you distill all this data and make it insight, insightful? And how do you bring that insight into the plant, into actions? So those are the two key priorities for Honeywell Connected Plant. This is where we focus on driving insight from the process through connected process and knowing how we can optimize the throughput. This is how we drive insight from the assets and through connected assets and drive the insight of how we can predict better the, uh, the maintenance of those assets. Last, what do we do with those insights? How we can transform them into actions in real time pushed directly to the workforce through intelligent wearable so they can take the actions immediately. So what's the impact on the workforce and how are you using IoT to augment the workforce? We see three impacts around the workforce. I think number one is around competency, how you can improve their competency. And one of the elements that we're doing is around augmented reality, immersive competency trainings and, and, and programs. So learning by doing improve the knowledge retention after three months to 80%, as opposed to learning by listening, which is a passive learning method, which is only around, around 20 to 30% knowledge retention after three months. So competency is something we can improve with IIoT, with augmented reality. Number two impact that we can bring to the workforce is around their productivity, how we can provide all the information from the control system, from uh, access to document or access to remote expert in the moment, real time, as they do their job. So not only they are performing better and more and faster, but they're also learning as they're working and working as they're learning. So this is something drastically shifting the way people are gonna be working in the workforce. And the third impact on the workforce will be on their safety. We've developed solutions around, for example, man down situation where we're able to detect the G-force of a man hitting the ground and translate that G-force into alarm that is triggered where we can localize immediately where is the person that has been uh, that fainted for example and and detect who's the closest person to 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 this uh, victim and trigger an actions immediately so we can make people safer and have a faster response time in case of incident so in summary there are three elements we are truly impacting in a positive way the workforce it's around their safety around their competency and around their productivity mm. So what roles do you see augmented reality and virtual reality playing in your products? 
we see them all across those three pillars, right? We, we see them across competency, where immersive learning will improve their knowledge retention, as mentioned. We see augmented reality improving their productivity, where they can work, and as they see an asset, a pump, they can see already what's the value of that pump, how is it functioning, what are the, is it functioning beyond the boundaries, and what are the actions they need to take around it. We can use augmented reality for their safety. As they need to perform a maintenance procedure, they know which asset is ready for maintenance and which asset is not. And that prevent near misses and incident. For example, if it's overheating, we can tell them don't get close to that assets. And this is all overlaid information to what they see in the real life. And that augmented reality is fundamental to our offering in Connected Plant. Very good. So what can companies like Honeywell do to help companies make this leap to IIoT? So we've been hearing a lot about digital transformation. Digital transformation is a, is a sort of a call for actions for all our customers. However, digital transformation is only an enabler, but an enabler for a goal that the first thing that uh, our customers, we're helping our customer on, is understand what goal are they trying to achieve? What are they trying to optimize for? Is it to increase their productions? I is it to decrease the risk of safety? Is it to reduce the cost of overtime of their employees? So those, once we understand clearly what are they trying to optimize for, Honeywell Connected Plant is able to pull end-to-end uh, uh, -end solutions from connected process and connected assets and, and people and workforce connected solutions that can enable that goal and transform that goal into outcome. True outcome that is measurable at, at client level at, and plant performance level and sometimes also at PNL level. Thank you for your time and thank you. This has been a conversation with Yosef Massari of Honeywell Process Solutions. Thank you, Mark.